Okay, this is the final version. You'll know why at the end of this story. This is uh, my King Kong. I can't remember what it was anymore. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> my first bind and fly, let's put it that way. My last, or well, it should have been my last. I didn't learn my lesson. But now it is. Anyways, this is what I'm going to call my 20 part drone. No part on this drone is more than 20 bucks. Except the fox fly. And this is how I did that. Okay, here's what here's my setup, the camera setup. I got a fox here. Arrow, mini arrow, 20 what 20 bucks. Then up on top, the firefly, what it's called. And then that just velcros on to the strap because that comes later with the frame. And this just comes off. Again, buckle the harness right here. Got to tie it to the there. There, now it's separate. Firefly. So now I can pop it out. Take out the SD card font. Do whatever. And the first one I had. This bracket here that comes with it, it failed and it flew out and I lost it. So now that's why I got the Velcro on there. And I got the beeper on it. Because I figured this will land close to the drone and this is the smallest part. So if it gets separated, I will find my camera no matter what. Hopefully. But and if that idea didn't work because of the bracket. But anyways, this works. Now that goes on top of there, and that's how I do that. And what I do is I press start, buckle it down, fly. Because it's already attached on it. Here's my uh, receiver right here. And that's another lesson. These little these little round things that they plug into, these, they rip off the board pretty easily. So you don't want this, like, real secure. You want some take, give and take on it so that this can bend and flex. See? It gets taken out of that little point, and after a while, it breaks off. So you want some movement in there. I made some room on the bottom of this for it to move. Now, this is the frame that I, I love this frame. I wish I would have bought 10 of them. Put it unscrew here. And I use a little jar to drop my parts in so I don't lose them. And then unscrew here. I'm just unloosing the back ones. I could pull the strap out, but I'm just going to leave it in there for now. Now the hood pops up. Now I can get to my BTX, I can get to my camera and all my junk. If you notice, in the back, I wrapped all my cables around that post, the, the, the pin coming out for the antenna. So it's the final tugs right there, so none of them will rip off the board. So all this stuff is within the frame. All these wires and everything else. So and then it just closes back up. Put the screws back in. Put the camera back on top. Velcro down. Good to go. Now this is the Diatone GT200N frame. It's not the stretch, it's the end, the normal. And this frame was on sale for 20 bucks. The camera, 20 bucks. The BTX, 20 bucks. Actually, this, this BTX is an aftermarket one, so this was actually, it's like 12 bucks. And then, then you got the, you got the FC. 20 bucks. Then you got the ESC, 4 in 1 ESC, 20 amp. That is uh, 20 bucks also. So every part on here is 20 bucks pretty much. Except the motors. The motors I got are Crazy Pony. Let's see the prop. Crazy Pony. 2306 and uh, 2400 KV. Now, I didn't do no research and um, 
what draws what or what's i just well if it messes up it messes up because they're pretty close to the original ones that came on it <clears throat> i tell you what these motors are sweet they're on these were 10 bucks a piece and then the other thing you gotta do is you gotta go to motor riot and you gotta this is where you get these they got a lot of build for builds motor riot's got some really cool stuff and you cut them they're plastic so when you cut them you have to use your sawing iron to sort of butt up the end so they don't come unfrayed and there's my love my this in this frame it can take drops when i all the fell safes and stuff when it drops the other one would break an arm and when it broke an arm it ripped pads and just more work more work more work this one is durable it's never broke an arm never broke anything on the frame like i said it's got the cushion this is this is a good frame i wish i would have got more like i said now here's all the parts that took to get to this point there's your ESC, <laughs> there's VTX number one, VTX number two, well, that's just a spare video. Flight controller and wires and crap. Now, I like this one because this has got like for, for beginner solders, they're pretty spaced out right there. Whereas like the, the man, Mamba, that one they're a lot closer, I'll show you. Check it out. This is gonna be next. See how close these are? They're a little bit tougher to solder. I didn't like soldering these. Push my skills, and they're not that good a solder. It'll work. So, one piece at a time, right? <laughs> that gives me an idea.